guys. So today is day three here in Kikoka in Belize and today we're going to be doing one of the main activities here which is the snorkeling. Just off the coast here you can see we have the, the huge Belize Barrier Reef which is the second biggest in the world behind Australia's Great Barrier Reef I think it's called. It's supposed to go from like Honduras through Belize up through Mexico like really big. So yeah it's pretty close to where we are right now. Like I said you can see it from here on the coast and there's supposed to be like little sharks there, stingrays, all sorts of fish, things like that so I've never seen sharks before so I'm looking forward to that so we're just gonna grab a bit, uh, quick bite to eat and then we'll head there Alright, there's been a slight change of plan. Because of the bad weather, we couldn't do the snorkeling in the morning. I'm gonna try and do it again later on at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. It's supposed to open up a little bit. And um, yeah, so right now we just got some nice watermelon juice. What did you get, Carol? Orange juice. Orange juice. Natural, right? Yeah, fresh. I mean, we don't have much to do now. We're just gonna go walking around the, the island a bit. A really nice part here. Check it all out. All the palm trees. You got a nice part here, the water. So you can see the water looks really clear when there's no seaweed, but there's just so much seaweed all over the place here. So it makes it look dark, but got a cool restaurant over here. Got some swings in the ocean. <laughs> Does it still smell of coconut? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Let me smell. They're like bad. Rotten coconut. Yeah. Nice Carol. <laughs> So we come on the west side of the island again to that little beach that we came to yesterday. Don't seem to have a name, it just says beach area, but yeah it's a lot more relaxed here because the wind's coming from the east side so yeah we're here, we've got basically no wind at all. See the ocean, is super tranquil here. People fishing. And later on we decided to go to the North Island, there's an, another like really nice beach there, I think it's called um, King King Coco Beach, or is it Coco King Beach? Coco King. Oh yeah, Coco King Beach. So we're gonna head there, you just gotta get like a boat, a two minute boat over there and we'll check that out. We've arrived at Coco King. It's actually like a restaurant, so it's not the name of the island or anything. It's the restaurant's called that, and if you come over here, the boat's free, but you gotta buy something at the restaurant, food or drink or whatever. But there's actually gonna be the World Cup game here, so yeah, we're gonna watch that here, and then we'll just chill out here a bit. Looks pretty nice though. I think the restaurant's the only thing that's here, by the looks of it. Come on, Brazil. <laughs> Gonna be six stars there after this one. <laughs> All right, Brazil left, but the good news is we're able to go on the snorkel trip right now. Hey, how's it going? My friend. Hey, what's her name? Oh, Carol. How do you feel right now? She feels amazing. Uh, I'm feeling the same way. I had high expectations for these guys and they let us down. Oh, 
dive coming to an end now and apparently the third one's gonna be a wreck some sort of wreck I didn't know we were gonna be visiting that so that should be cool a really awesome swim so far what's your favorite part so far the sharks yeah I like the big turtle <laughs> yeah all right All right, now we're exploring uh, a wreckage, which is a barge that uh, sunk 85 years ago. Let's check it out.
to the hostel once again. So yeah, really awesome day. That trip actually cost um, $65. Well, going around the island, it seemed the majority of the snorkel tours were around that price. So yeah, that's what you got to spend. But I'd almost say it's worth it, especially if you haven't done snorkeling that much. I mean, we got to see nurse sharks, uh, manta rays, which were gigantic and that ginormous um, tortoise, a few of those actually, so yeah, three things that I've never seen before and just the corals and everything looked, looked really nice as well, I haven't seen really anything like that before, so yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's pretty much a wrap to our stay here in Key Corker, this was our last day. Like I said in yesterday's video, we weren't planning on spending that much time here, so it kind of shows how good we think this place was, that we decided to spend three days here. But we've pretty much done everything now. Like, there's nothing much much more to do here from what we've done. Three, three days is a good enough time, I think, if you want to do everything here in a relaxed pace. And right now, we're just going to shower, and then we're going to pack our bags and stuff, because tomorrow we're heading down south to a place called, I think it's called Placiencia. Pretty much right, 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 right down south of uh, Billy's, but um, it's a touristic location as well. It's supposed to have nice beaches, so we're gonna check that out. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video.